It's 8.15, we're at the uh, Sable Club parking lot. No, I'm talking to the camera. <laughs> and Bird's going to hike three peaks while I film the uh, Beaver Meadow Trail. And then we'll meet at the Coal and we'll go up over Gothics and down to Pyramid and he'll go up to Sawteeth. So, let's go. Walking next to the golf club, the golf course, the Osable Club. It's an unusual treat that hikers. Still at the Osable Club, here's Giant Mountain. A little maintenance on the golf course. And the main building. Here's the main gate. Absolutely beautiful Adirondack style. Heading toward the Canyon Bridge, one of my favorites. Across one of the branches of the Osable River. Here's an approach bridge to the Canyon Bridge. So, we're both going to head left here, south. He's going to Wolf Jaws, I'm going to the Gothic's Armstrong Coal. Mushrooms thriving. Tree, not so much. Heading up to the Wolf Jaws. So I'll see you at Gothic or at that coal, right? Yeah, probably at the coal, I'm thinking. Uh, all right, it's yeah. 9.30 now, so we'll see, what, we'll see how close you are with that coal spot. Yeah. All right. Alrighty. Have a good one. Yeah, you too. Okay, he's headed up to the Wolf Jaws. I'm headed over to Beaver Meadow Falls, and then up the Beaver Meadow Trail to the Gothic Coal. Gothic Armstrong Coal. I think this guy's okay. I walked right over him and he just stayed right where he was. Just chilling. There's that branch of the Osable River again. We're 150 feet above it or so right now. This is not the main riverbed here, but I'll bet the water came down through here during Irene. See fresh soil along the side. And the main river is not much lower, just right over here. So Wouldn't have wanted to be in this valley at the time. Looks like they needed a new footbridge here. If you look at the landscape all around, you can see why. Here's Beaver Meadow Falls. Looks like there's not much left of the meadow. You can imagine tons and tons of water coming over this during Irene. Must have been a sight to behold if anyone was around. Even better than the yellow and brown DEC signs. I love the homemade variety over here in the Adirondack Forest Reserve. That's what hiking's about. Here's the first ladder on the trail right at the Beaver Meadow. Pretty mild. Nice little natural staircase right above those that ladder.
falls are just right over off the edge there. Here's a side trail to Lost Lookout. Never been over there. Won't be going today. Nearest I can figure I'm at about 2,500 feet right now, which means gone up maybe 12, 1,300, 2,100 to go. Okay, so this is new. Probably happened during Irene. Brand new slide. Rock so smooth that nothing can hold on. Get a lot of water. Slides right down the hillside. Trail's a little washed out here, straight down the hillside. People have made an alternate route up the side. They don't like to do that unless it's really hard to pass the other way, which it seems to be. The one thing that's good about a steep trail, this is horizontal. is that you get up the hillside a lot faster that way. Here's a smooth place. Smooth rock. Probably just go up the left hand side, hold on to the log. Well, this is a little more than a warm-up hike for me. Total vertical is about 3,000 feet three times what I did a few weeks ago. I'm definitely not in shape. Keep working on it. <laughs> Love those flowers. Well, it's dry. You gotta trust your boots. How do you get up something like this? Well, I think you take the ramps. Well, I don't remember this view of Lower Wolf Jaw and then Upper Wolf Jaw. And being on the north side of the mountain, I'm wondering if the trail got rerouted in the last eight years. We'll find out. There's the east face of, east face of Armstrong. Birdies come over the top of that, and then the coal is over here. Now, I do remember seeing this rock before, or maybe it was just one like it. Looks like the Wampahoofus. Here's another little natural staircase. On the north side of the mountain, just came up through a nice little passageway here. Going to the south side of the mountain, a lot of daylight. There's gothics through the trees. And we're coming up to one of my favorite places. Ladder that I just came down. Got a five or six foot drop and kind of slippery. Not bad. Here's a little platform on the trail. Don't miss your turn here. It's right above a, at least a thousand foot slide. Trail goes right up the hillside here. Here's Gothics. Love that mountain. And there's the pyramid. And saw teeth are over there. Looks like another new ladder here. The little one was new for sure. I just remember one up and two down on the way up the mountain, so I guess that's still coming. Did you see that slide? Is that unbelievable or what? Uh, the new slide. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I thought that the, maybe they rerouted the whole trail because of that, but they didn't. Okay, another ladder down. This one's older for sure. This may be one that I remember, but there was one up before it when I remembered. Yeah, this is definitely an original. The guys before me say this one's a little dicey. As long as it lasts, as, as long as I'm on it. <laughs> okay, you can't complain about the space between the rungs as long as it gets you down. Pretty good old ladder. Little natural sidewalk here. And the mountain's right there, about 400 vertical feet. Always a good reminder. 
a beautiful day. Clouds going over, keep it cooler actually. Pretty nice. Top of the mountains right there, a few more minutes. Very nice. Pyramid's the deal. Pyramid's definitely one of the very best views in the Adirondacks. Yeah, yes, that's why we did this day. Today. Here are the intrepid hikers nice on the top of Gothics, one of my favorite mountains. Met you on Allen yeah. Mountain there, sir. Guys, what, what are your first names again? I'm sorry. Johnny and Anthony. Johnny and Anthony. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Tony. And it was about seven, it was about seven years ago, wow. Allen Mountain. It was seven years ago, for sure, 05. Wow. Yeah. See, these mountains are not that grand. Yeah. Small. <laughs> it, it's amazing, though, to run into you guys, not on the, just on the same mountain, but coming up the same trail, which is not well-traveled. Yeah. Coming up the meadow, the beaver meadow trail, people don't take that very often, I don't think. They take the cables, and they come in other ways. And I just, uh, I finished the, the 46ers the very next year, in 2006. Yeah. Yeah. That yeah. Was it. And I did too. And Anthony, you finished. Uh, 2008, actually. I, I I looked in the uh, in the Peaks like, like, magazine. I at you uh, too. Yeah. <laughs> I've done more hiking miles. Sixty-two seventy-seven. Yeah. Well, I beat you by a little bit, but I had a big head start too. <laughs> something hours or is it three days and something? Three days and like three days yeah. and four hours and twenty six. There's nipple top, Dick's in the background. I think you could do it. <laughs> Rocky Peak and Giant. Pretty good view today. That's pretty good distance. Oh really? Here's Dix. There's Basin. I used to rock climb. It's just you gotta do this here, you know, it's like I go like this. Right, and it looks like you're coming up. Right? <laughs> so Ferd has just has just climbed up the face here. How many how many thousand meters was it without a rope? <laughs> Ropes are overrated. <laughs> <laughs> right. He did it without Yeah. Yeah. We found a perfect spot for the tourist views. Not accessible by road. Yeah, but didn't he also, didn't he also do, like, and there's the cloud splitter. But there are a few folks up there today. Just came down all of that. Very steep. We were taking pictures up there. So there's Gothics, came down the ridge into the coal, back up steeply for a short distance. Now sitting on the pyramid. So say it has the best view in the Adirondacks. It's certainly one of the best, I wouldn't disagree. There's Saddleback, Basin, Haystack, a little bit more beautiful looking down from Marcy. Skylight in the background. And there's Marcy, the cloud splitter. Talking with Johnny and Anthony, we were saying the beauty of the Adirondacks compared to the greens and most of the whites is that you can be on top of a mountain and look around 360 degrees and not see a settlement. I think that's Allen Mountain. One of the tougher hikes simply because of the distance. Johnny and Anthony reminded me that I did some slipping down the the trail there because it was on a stream bed and there was some moss or algae that even the carbide tips wouldn't go through, it wouldn't pierce. The sign makes its point with one hand firmly on a healthy tree. That's the way I like it. Wow.
Colvin. It'll look off 2,000 feet above the lake.